Okay. Cool, guys. Cool. But again, guys, just like just like to mention this again. See, guys, most of the things I can explain. I can definitely explain. But if you really want to go get good at this topic, I hope all of you are spending time on pen and paper. There is no other alternative to it. It won't go into your head. You won't be able to prepare the mental models until and unless you know you scribble on the piece of paper. You try drawing those recursion trees. You write something which only makes sense to you. It should not make sense to anyone. You are doing those things until and unless you're not doing it. Trust me, I've I've seen more than two thousand students now at this point of time. I've not seen anyone who's got good at backtracking just by simply coding. Coding is the last bit of it, very easy bit of it. Most times it's not an issue, but this one, the dry run wala part, that's the most important part. Okay, okay, understood. Does that make sense, Shivam? You are asking, you are asking for dessert at the beginning of the meal, which is not a good thing. So Shivam, so that's not a good thing. I'm not gonna answer that. I cannot serve you dinner, uh, dessert right at the beginning of the meal. First of all, we need starters, right? The first thing that we need is starters. So for a start, uh, I'm gonna switch my video off and let's begin. Okay, let's begin, guys. How many of you like trekking? How many of you ever at some point of time like trekking? Trekking. What is trekking? Mountain hiking. You know, people from Pune, so I think this one they should definitely go for it. Not railway track, yeah. Tracking, tracking. You know, trekking. T R E double K I N G. Yeah, maybe some someone some people have done it in Kasol or whatever it is. You know, it must be quite fun, right? It must be quite fun. Niliampati Hill. Okay, cool. But one thing about treks is they are a little bit dangerous, right? A little bit dangerous. One second, one thing about guys, like, someone is not on mute. Please stay on mute. I'm gonna ensure that it's not gonna be possible after this. Uh, 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 no, please don't do that. Yeah, couple of things about trekking, it's quite dangerous sometimes. It's a bit dangerous, right? And people tend to get lost, correct? Have you ever lost someone uh, during a trek? People tend to get lost, right? People tend to get lost. This is very common, correct? This happens quite a bit. This happens quite a bit, right? And then, you know, search parties and everything go on. Search parties and everything go on, correct? Yes or no? Yes or no? Monkeys attack. Maybe different things can happen. So let's assume, let's assume, guys. Let's assume that, you know, let's assume that you went with one of your friends for a trek and you know you and your friend got separated at some point of time you and your friend got separated at some point of time what happens after this so this is now you don't know where your friend is you're currently at this position okay and you're trying to find your friend but the thing is guys in a jungle there are multiple paths right there are multiple paths so let's say this is a path and this is another path. From here, there are three different options. One goes here. Another goes, let's say, here. And another one, suppose, let's say, goes here. OK? Suppose, okay. Now the thing is, this particular path is basically leads to the ocean. There's nothing here except for the ocean. At this particular path, a lion is sleeping. A lion is sleeping. And this particular path is a valley. That is a dead, dead end, correct? This particular path is a valley. Okay, next. What happens next? There is another path. Which path is this? This one. It sort of goes like this. And then here. And then again, at this point, there are a couple of options. Okay. Feels like a game, then enjoy it like a game. Okay. From here, Let's say it's a 
वाटरफॉल वाटरफॉल I know not the best writing of best drawing of a waterfall, but let's make let's get used to whatever we have. I know it doesn't feel like a waterfall, right? But again, another dead end. And here, somewhere in the corner, is your friend, right? Okay. Now the thing is, now the thing is, you are initially standing at this position, correct? You are initially standing at this particular position you said that okay i want to find my friend but the thing is you don't know where your friend is so you decided that you will come here but at this point what happens is now you have two options correct guys you don't know just call him it's a jungle so networks don't work that probably tells me an image that you haven't gone for a trek you should go on a trek mobile phones don't work mobile phones don't work right compass you also don't have compass right you what you have to do is the only way to do it is check all options right check all options explore all options the only option that you have is explore all possible options correct guys does that make sense explore all possible options correct so what do you do what do you do but it will take too much time you don't love your friends animesh if i am your friend i am definitely not going on a trek with you an image to will say yaar yaar chodo yaar kaun dhoondega it takes too much time let it be i am going home i am not being friends with you animesh you don't feel like a good friend <laughs> even if it takes too much time yaar it's about your friend you will you will save your friend no come on yaar okay so what will you do you will try this first option you will try this first option you will explore it 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 but at this point what happened guys at this point what happens there are three options right it's like there are three options you can go to this direction this direction this direction but you don't know in which direction your friend is so what do you have to do you have to explore all three options but the thing is guys you will remember this particular position so that when you come back you know where you took a turn from correct it's like you make marks on those uh, trees right that arrows are made on trees so that you know you know where you came from correct it's like you will make a symbol so that you know which path you followed so that you can come back correct because it's a jungle right everything looks the same exactly so that you also don't get stuck smart priya correct so what happens is what happens is i make a mark on this particular position and then i go up and explore this particular option i explore this particular option but what happens is i find a dead end that it's an ocean so definitely my friend is not here so what do i do what do i do i return back and come back to the previous point where i made this decision to explore this i made this decision at this point so what will you do after this you will try the next option what is this next option it's a lion a sleeping lion so immediately turn back go back to the point where you made this decision where did you made the decision at this point what do you do after this you take the next option what is the next option this one but again what is it it's a dead end it's a valley so what happens you come back and tell me at this point have you tried all the three options that were available to you have you tried all the three options that were available to you have you tried have you tried have you tried yes so what will you do you will say yaar this is a bad option what do i do i go back to the previous point where i made a decision where was the previous point where i made a decision this one that this particular entire direction does not yield my friend or you know my friend is not in this direction so what will you do you will come back to the previous point where you made a decision where did you made a decision at this point and then you will explore this particular option you will explore 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 you, we did we did mark we did mark so we did mark this initial point guys again just like we mark this point we have to mark the initial point as well so that we know where we made a decision correct so a very good point did i did i not mention that sorry sorry my bad but you will have to mark the initial position as well why because you should know where you made a decision so that you can come back to that point and try the next option from there correct everyone understands this part guys everyone understands this part cool now what will i do is i will come back and try this point at this point again what happens what happens 
there are two options. So what do you do? You go back and you figure out that this is a waterfall. Now, if Animesh is a friend, he'll probably click, click some pictures or something, forgetting, forgetting about his friend. But we are, we are not like Animesh. No, Animesh, you will, you will click pictures or something, right? The waterfall is probably beautiful, correct? Animesh, would you do that or would you go and search for your friend? Animesh is saying yes. Animesh is not a good friend. I'm not, I'm not relying it, Animesh. Okay, so what will you do? You, you will come back to the previous point where you made a decision, which was this one. After this, what will I do? I'll go back and finally, I'll find my friend. Right, finally, I'll find my friend. I'll probably give him a slap that, why do you leave my hand? Don't leave my hand, no. Stay with me. And then probably, like, get back. Correct. Correct, guys, correct. Get back and they lived happily ever after. Something like that. Correct. But my point to all of you is, I now, everyone understood the story? Everyone understood the story? Everyone understood the story? Now, my I have a couple of questions, guys. Did we try all possible options? Did we try all possible options? Did we try all possible options? Yes, we did. Okay. Don't you think this is exactly what we do generally in brute force? If you remember from unit one, what was brute force? You try all possible options to get the answer. Correct? You try all possible options to get the answer. But there was one difference. What is that difference? You need to, you need to ensure that you are remembering the situation where you made a decision. You have to remember the situation where you made a decision. Or in other words, you have to remember the state where you made a decision. Correct? Where you have to remember a state where you make a decision. Correct? But guys, if you know or if you have already observed this, recursion does this for us by default. Yes or no? Recursion does this for us by default. Why? The recursive call stack, it stores the state of the function, right? It stores the state of the function. Correct? It stores the state of the function. So, to be honest, what is this? This is brute force, 100% brute force. But to achieve this brute force, I will need recursion. I will need recursion. Why? Because I want to explore different options. So, let's say if this path did not work out, I will have to come back and try the next path. Correct? Correct. So, this is exactly what recursion does, does right? Where you can, where you can, you know, once you have selected a path, you can actually come back and try another option. Just like we were doing in follow the night. Do you remember? Just like we were doing in follow the night. Do you remember? You know, once we have come back, once we've come back, we try, we can come back to the previous, the original situation and try the next option. So this is exactly what recursion does. So to be honest, if I tell you this is backtracking, what is the meaning of backtracking? The meaning of backtracking then turns out that this is brute force. This is brute force. Sorry, this is brute force, which is achieved with the help of recursion. Yes or no? This is brute force, which is achieved with the help of recursion. Yes or no? Yes or no, guys? This is brute force, which is achieved with the help of recursion. Agreed? Agreed or not? Agreed or not? Agreed? So this is what is something called as backtracking. So what is backtracking, guys? If I have to formally define it, backtracking is a problem-solving technique, is a problem-solving technique. Okay, remember this word, okay? It's a problem-solving technique. It's not an algorithm. It's not some, it's not a concept. It's a problem-solving technique in which we explore all the possible options till we get the answer in which we explore all possible options till we get to the answer. To get the answer. But one thing that you have to understand with this one is, one and probably the most important thing that you have to understand with this one is, once back in backtracking, once we realize it, that, okay, this option is not resulting in an answer. This option is not resulting in an answer. This decision is not resulting in an answer. What do we do? We backtrack. That is, we, we undo the decision that we've just made. Undo as in, 
just like we do control Z, right? Just like we do control Z. What happens? Let's say if I have pressed A and on the screen it comes up A. If I do control Z, control Z, it becomes undone, correct? So basically what you do is you undo the choice that you have made. You undo the choice that you have made and try the next option, correct? Correct guys, agreed? Agreed? Undo the choice that you've made and come back. This is called as backtracking. How many of you are getting like, let's say, what is the hunch of it? Just the hunch of it. How we are going to solve problems and everything, that's, that's, that's something that we can do later. But how many of you are able to understand what is the hunch of it? How many of you are able to understand what is the hunch of it? What is backtracking? It is not something very, which is different, uh, different to uh, what you said. Sorry. It is not something which is different to recursion. It is just we are using recursion to explore all possible options, to explore all possible options, possible options to get the answer. Now, whenever I teach backtracking, there are certain prerequisites. There are certain prerequisites. What is that prerequisite? No one should think about the code. No one should think about the code. People who think about the code are never able to figure about figure it figure out recursion and backtrack. Never. In fact, they're never able to figure out programming in a way. All they all they do is they practice a lot, and because of that, they can do certain level of programming, but they can never think. See, guys, programmers are thinkers, right? And coding is the last bit of it. If you think in terms of code, you are never able to think. You're never able to think. Whenever you solve a problem, the first thing that should come in, a, in your mind is how am I going to solve this problem? It should not be how am I going to code this problem? The biggest issue at this point of time, most of you think about is how am I going to code it? Guys, coding is the last bit. Coding is the last bit. First of all, you have to think how am I going to solve it? Right? How am I going to solve it? See, coding, all coding is giving instructions to the computer. If you don't know how to solve it, how can you give instructions to the computer? Correct? Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Hundred percent, right? So the biggest issue at this point of time, if you think in terms of code, you will never be able to figure out backtracking. All you need to do is, I need to understand that at every step, I need to follow all possible options and get the answer, which is going to get me the correct answer. Correct? Correct. Everyone understands that? Everyone understands that? Cool. Awesome. Now, let's try to understand one simple thing. Let's try to understand one simple thing. What is that one simple thing? How many of you have ever gone to, let's say, Big Bazaar, D-Mart, or some departmental store or something? Big Bazaar, D-Mart, or some departmental store ever in your life? Some departmental store, like, I don't know, there are different, different in local places, but departmental stores. How many of you have ever gone to any of these places? Easy day. Or what do you say that Reliance Cubby, Reliance Fresh, something like that comes up. Different, different options, right? Geomart, Mall, whatever it is. All of you must have gone at some point of time. If not, do go there. It's a different, it's a good thing. I like going there, to be honest, you know. Uh, guys, do you like that? Do you like going to these places? To be honest, I like it a lot. You know, it's just like kind, kind of therapeutic. It's, it's a little bit of a therapy kind of a thing. You know, you're just... Just, just sometimes, you know, in college, we, we used to go to DMAT, even though we did not have any money to buy anything. We'll just go there and just, 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 you know, it, it used to be air conditioned, you know, good time pass. So I liked it quite a bit. Maybe you guys will, uh, you, you know, whoever hasn't tried should give it a try. Yeah, exactly. Window shopping is a thing. Definitely. Definitely. So yeah, cool. But the thing about these shops is, Everything is arranged in some kind of like, let's say in some kind of order, like, let's say, uh, you know, there are perfumes, then there are food commodities, then let's say there are clothes. So everything is ar arranged in certain kind of order. Correct. Everything is arranged in certain kind of order. Correct. Yes or no. And the days in which there are sales, it is crazily like, it's a crazy rush. A lot of people come in, right? The days when you have, the days when you have, let's say, some kind of off, it is crazy, right? It is crazy. Correct? Correct? Yes or no? Festive season, something like that. Correct. So, guys, let's assume that all of you went, all of you went to a 
let's say dmart or some departmental store correct some departmental store and you are buying things for a picnic okay you are buying things for a picnic everyone understands you are buying things for a picnic so in this particular card or in this particular shelf there are chips in this particular shelf there are let's say cold drinks and in this particular shelf what else do you need what else do you carry on let's say a trip a picnic what else do you carry on a picnic let's say some bread 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 butter or something bread butter or something like that okay now the thing is guys bread butter biscuits suppose let's go for this one bread butter biscuits <laughs> no sanket let's not go in that direction okay cool now the thing is guys let's assume that all of us don't have a lot of money which is to be honest we don't have to assume which is true we do all of us don't have a lot of money correct so which is something which is true so we don't have to worry about that part let's say you can only buy certain things out of it you can only buy two things out of these or let's say you can only buy certain things out of it not everything but either you can buy chips or let's say you can buy cold drinks or you can buy let's say bread butter biscuits whatever it is i'm calling it bakery let's call this bakery in short i'm calling this bakery so so the thing is you can only buy certain parts of it right now the thing is uh you have that trolley correct everyone has seen that trolley that we take uh, that we take to buy and you know, put things into so let's say you have this trolley and you are moving in this direction now the condition is you cannot bring your trolley you cannot bring your trolley a trolley back that is if you are moving in this direction you can only move in this direction you can only move in this direction you cannot come back now maybe this is because of the rush maybe this is because of something but you cannot come back if you have walked through it that means if you bought the chips it's okay but if you if you said that i'm not going to buy chips right now you cannot buy it again you have to make a decision at that point of time whether you're going to buy it or whether you're not going to buy it correct everyone understands this part everyone understands this part you have to make a decision whether you're going to buy it or you're going to ignore it whether you're going to buy it or whether you're going to ignore it whether you're going to buy it or whether you're going to ignore it correct these are the three options for all the three things everyone understands this part everyone understands this part but most importantly most importantly i hope all of you understand that you know sorry all of you understand that you have you can only move in the forward direction if you have made a decision on a particular thing you are not coming back to it everyone understands everyone understands this part cool okay okay cool awesome now next thing next thing that we have to do is i want you to figure out what are the different combination of things that you can get what are the different combination of things that you can get that is you can get chips plus cold drink or you can get chips plus cold drinks plus bakery or you can just get cold drinks plus bakery or you can get chips plus bakery and so on so what are the different combinations that you can get come on guys everyone got the question what are the different combinations that you can get okay okay come on go for it what is abc bc i don't know i don't understand this come on guys think about it for a couple of minutes tell me what are the different combinations you can get it just saying a very complicated word like permutation is not a good answer okay so guys you have to you have to understand one more thing most times you will be talking to people who don't understand tech who don't understand a for loop so let's say if i tell if, if you tell them that how how are you solving this particular problem what will you say what will you say that i am solving this problem by using a for loop they'll immediately say no i don't want to work with you go on you will have to you have to simplify things right so whenever i'm asking a question simplify it come on think about it for a couple of minutes tell me what are the different options what are the different options come on
Yeah. What are the different answers? What are the different answers? Come on, guys. Let's look at it. Okay. Come on, everyone. Everyone give it a good enough thought. All people gave me chips plus cold drink, chips plus bakery, cold drink plus bakery. That's not a valid, that's not a good answer. Sorry. 71, that's not also a good answer. Come on, let's think about it logically. Okay, let's think about it logically. Suppose, guys, suppose, come on. Suppose, uh, suppose, this is your trolley. This is your good looking trolley. I know it doesn't look like one, but let's assume this is your trolley. Correct. So what happens is you start moving in this direction. Now, when it comes to chips, how many options do you have guys? How many options do you have? You can either accept it or you can ignore it. Correct. You, you can either buy it or you cannot buy it. Correct. There are only two options, right? Either buy it, buy or don't buy or don't buy. These are the only two options, no? Or is there a, another option that let's say I'm going to open it. I'm going to take, let's say 50 grams out of it and leave the other 50 grams. There is no other option like that, right? There are only two options. Either you can buy it complete or you cannot buy it at all. Correct. So now let's try to explore two options. Let's try to explore these two options. That what would have happened if, you, if I would have bought these two chips? If I would have bought this. So let's try to explore Let's try to say I bought it. So that means when I came to this particular position, I already had chips. Correct. I already had chips. Yes or no, guys? I already had chips. Now, when it comes to cold rings, how many options do you have? How many options do you have? Again, two. You can either buy it or you can not buy it. So let's say you decide to buy it again. So now, if you buy, if you bought it, what happened then? What happened then? You would have come to bakery while apart. You would have come to when you when you were have to bakery while apart. Then in your cart you would have chips. You would have cold drinks. I'm calling it CD. And then it comes to bakery. For bakery, how many options you would have? Again, two. You can either buy it or don't buy it. So let's say I decide to buy it. Then what happens? I get chips. Then I get cold drinks and then I get bakery. This is one of the option. This is one of the option. Yes or no? This is one of the combinations. One of the combinations. Next. But have we, have we explored all possible options? No, we haven't. And after this, there is nowhere else to go. There is nowhere else to go. So what will I do? I will go back to the last point where I made a decision. Where did I made a decision? The last point. At the bakery wala cart, right? At the bakery wala point shelf. At the bakery wala point, which option have I explored? That initially I have chips and cold drinks and I take bakery also. But now let's take the third option. What, what let's take another option. What is another option? That let's not take bakery. So in that case, I would end up with chips and cold drinks. Chips and cold drinks. That's another option. Correct. That's another option. That's another option. Agreed. Sorry, guys, give me one second. No, please. I think I have to take this one. Yeah, sorry. Yes, guys. So at this point, what was another option that I had? Another option that I had would be chips and cold drinks. Agreed? Another option that I have would be chips and cold drink. So at this point of time, when I arrived at the bakery wala cart, have I explored both the options? Have I explored both the options? What are the combinations that I got? The combinations were chips, bakery, cold drink. One, another one was chips and Cold drink. These are the two combinations I got. But all this was possible when I decided to take 
cold drinks. What would have happened if I would have taken a decision that I'm not going to take cold drinks? Correct. What would have happened if I would have taken a decision that I'm not going to take cold drinks? Then in that case, when I would have arrived at this particular position, I would have only chips in my chips in my this what do you say in my trolley. I would only have chips in my trolley, and the two options for this are chips and bakery. That is, I can buy a bakery as well, or I cannot buy a bakery. So that when in that case, it would be just chips. So what are the different options that I got now? Chips, bakery, and simple chips. Guys, everyone agrees. These are the four combinations I've got so far. These are the four combinations I've got so far. So at cold drinks wala section, I had two options. I can either buy cold drink or I cannot buy cold drink. I tried exploring both of them. But what would have happened? The, all this was possible when I took the first decision of buying chips. What would sorry? What would have happened if I would have decided that I'm not going to buy chips at all? So in that case, when I would have arrived at this particular section, the cold drink wala section, I would be empty. Or my trolley would be empty. Not me, but my trolley would be empty. Correct? Everyone agrees? Everyone agrees till this particular point? My trolley would be empty. So then what would I do? I will explore the two options for cold drink again. What are the two options? Buy that cold drink. So let's say if you buy that cold drink, then you arrive at the bakery wala section with cold drink in your trolley. So what would happen in that case? You have two options for bakery as well. What are the two options? Buy both the, uh, buy it. So it becomes cold drink and bakery. In that case, there are no other options left. So you come back and another option was don't buy bakery. So have I got two other options? What are the two other options? Cold drink and bakery and simply cold drink. Everyone agrees? Everyone agrees, guys? But all this was possible. All this was possible when you decided that you are not, yeah, that you are going to buy cold drink. That you are going to buy cold drink. What would have happened if you decided that you won't be buying cold drink? If you won't be buying cold drink, if you won't be buying cold drink, what would have happened? You would arrived at the bakery with empty trolley. Correct. And at this one, you had two options. Either buy bakery or don't buy bakery. So if you buy bakery, the combination would have been this. So another combination. Or another option would be don't buy anything. In that case, empty trolley. So this is window shopping. This is what? All of us did at some point of time. Correct? So can I say these are the different options? Can I say these are the different kinds of combinations I can get? How many of you agree to this? How many of you agree to this? Everyone understood this example? Everyone understood this example? At every step, what are the options I had? I had the same options. What were the options? I can either buy it or I cannot buy it. I can choose to buy it or I can choose not to buy it. Agreed? Agreed, guys? Agreed? Okay, Irshad is saying did not get it. Let's talk to Irshad and get this get this sorted. Yes, Irshad, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yeah, can you tell me what is the issue? Uh, sir, yeah, all possible yeah. all possible combinations you did not get. What happened? So just to repeat once again. Sure, sure, but you will have to stay with me. Okay. Yeah. Is it fine. Okay. Okay. Sure. Irshad, have you ever been to a departmental store? Sorry, sir. Have you ever been to, let's say, a departmental store like, let's say, DMART or Big Bazaar or something like that? Yes, sir. You have been, right? So, let's say, these are the different shelves arranged. Okay. In one shelf, you have chips. Another shelf, you have, let's say, cold drinks. And in another shelf, you have, shelf, you have bakery. Okay. Okay, Irshad, Irshad, you need to constantly communicate with me. Yes, sir. Okay, guys, everyone needs to stay with me and Irshad. If you got it, you will get it even better. If you did not get it, you will get it. Okay, so stay with me and Irshad. The first one is chips. The second one is cold drinks. I'm calling it CD. And the third one is bakery. Let's just call it B. So this is C, CD, and B. Let's use short forms. C. Okay, so this is me and 
I have when I arrive at the chips uh, chips wala section. Irsha, tell me, do I have two options, right? I can either right. buy it or I cannot buy it. Correct. Right. So let's say I decide to buy it. If I decide to buy it, that means when I arrive at this cold drink wala section, my trolley would have initial uh, would have already have chips in it. Correct. 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 Would already have chips in it. Agreed. Ishad, agreed. Yes, sir. So when it comes to cold drink, I will have two options. What are the two options? Either I can buy it, or I cannot buy it. But this right. is after I decided that I am going to buy uh, chips. Correct. Agreed. Yes, sir. So let's say now I now I decided that I am going to buy cold drink as well. So that means when I arrived at this particular position. that i arrived when i arrived at bakery i already had chips and cold drink in my trolley agreed yes agreed chips and cold drink okay after this after this at bakery i again have only two options what are the two options i can either buy it or i cannot buy it correct yes so let's say if i decide to buy it then what will this become Lack of space, chips, CD. Yeah, lack of space. Yeah, Rishad. We don't have enough space in this country, man. Come on. What should we do now? But no matter. We'll figure a way out. Yes, I got to that point. No, still. But my job is to do the complete thing. No. Right, right. So C, CD, and B. This is the combination that will become. Yes. Correct. This is the combination that will become. But yes, now after this, there are no more options that I need to explore, right? This is the end of all the stalls are finished. Correct? Mm -hmm. Correct. Yes. So what will I do is I'll go back to this position and try that. What would have happened if I would have decided not to get bakery or not to buy bakery? Then what would be the combination like? Uh, cold drink, uh, C, C and C D. Basically, chips and cold drink. Correct? Yes. But all this was possible because you decided to buy cold drink. There was another option that you decide not to buy cold drink. Correct? Mm -hmm. Correct? Yes, sir. Let's see what would have happened if you would have decided not to buy cold drink. Then, when you would have arrived at bakery, you would have only chips. Agreed? Because mm -hmm. you have decided that you that you are not going to buy cold drink. Agreed? Yes. And when you arrived at bakery, again you will have the two options. What are the two options? Buy or not? Exactly. Buy or not? So let's say you decide to. Let's say you decide to buy. Then what would be the combination like? C and B. Perfect. Then you, if you decide to buy this, then the combination would be like C and B, that you have bought chips and bakery. Right. But there was another option where you decide not to buy bakery as well. In that case, what would have happened? Only C. Only C. That is chips. Correct. Yes. Correct. So now tell me, at this point there were two options. Have you decided? Have you selected? Or have you found what happens after selecting the two options? Yes. You have explored both of them, right? Right. Yes. You have tried both of them. Similarly, at this point of time you had two options: whether to buy cold drink or not to buy cold drink. Have you explored both the options? Yes. No. There were two options, right? Buy cold drink. What would what happens if you buy cold drink? What happens if you don't buy cold drink? Have you explored both of them? Yes. Sir. So you go back. You go back further to the initial point. What was the initial point where you decided that you are going to buy chips? Because all this happened because you decided to buy chips. Agreed? Yes. What would have happened if you would have decided not to buy chips at all? What would have happened in that case? In that case, what would have happened is when you arrived at the cold drinks wala cart or shelf. Your trolley would look like this. Empty. Empty. Yes or no? Yes. Yes or no? Irshad. Yes or no? Y yes, sir. Okay. Then again at cold drinks, how many options would you have? You will have two, two options. options: either to buy it or don't buy it. Agreed? Yes. 
So let's say you decide to buy it. In that case, what would your trolley look like when you arrived at the bakery wala section? It will have already have cold drink, but no chips this time. Correct? Yes. And at bakery, how many options will you have? Two options. What? Bruh, confidently. Come on, Rishad. Say it loud. Yeah. Come on. You're saying the right thing. Rishad. Two options. Yeah. What are the two options? Buy or not. Buy or don't buy. So let's say if you decide to buy it, what happens in that case? The combination becomes cold drinks and bakery. Bakery. And if you would have decided not to buy it, then in that case, simply cold drinks. CD. But all this was possible when you decided that you're going to buy cold drink. What would have happened if you would have decided not to buy cold drink? In that case, when you arrived at the bakery, your trolley would be empty? Yes. Correct? Your trolley would be empty, right? Yes, sir. So, can I say that at bakery, you will again have two options? What are the two options? buy the bakery or don't buy the bakery agreed yes sir. so let's say if you decide to buy it what will the combination look like simply bakery and if you decide to ignore it then your entire trolley will be empty, empty. so can you tell me are these all the different combinations that you can get yes sir. guys everyone agrees are, are these all the different combinations that you can get that you can get everyone agrees Guys, everyone agrees to this particular part? Awesome. Everyone gets the example completely end to end? Everyone gets the example completely end to end? End to end? Now try to relate this. Now try to relate this. Now try to relate this, let's say, to one question that I gave you last week. What was that question? The question called as generate all subsequences try to match it or try to uh, you know relate this example with the question generate all subsequences first of all what are all the subsequences guys please tell me what is the meaning of the word subsequence can anybody tell me what is the meaning of subsequence can anybody tell me what is the meaning of subsequence No, not similarities. Come on, you guys can Google it. Come on, think about it. You can Google it. Come on, come on, come on, guys. Think about it. I need examples. It's not all possible combinations of an array. That's permutation, Surya Prakash. Subsequence. Tell me what is the difference. Okay. One more extra question after this. What is the difference between subsequence and substring? What is the difference between subsequence and substring? Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Tell me the difference between these two. You have one minute. You, uh, you have two minutes. Come on. You can Google it. You can do whatever you want. But come on, go for it.
Sorry, guys. Can you hear me? Everyone? Yeah. Sorry, guys. Just had a power cut. Come on, guys. What is the difference between substrings and subsequence? Come on. Mayank, are you sure about it? I'm not sure about it. Order is definitely important. The continuous nature probably might, you might give it a look. Come on, guys. Think about it. Last one minute. I'm just getting some water. Come on. Yeah, so the meaning of subsequence, guys, is the meaning of subsequence is it is a, can you all see my screen? Can you all see my screen? Yeah, so the meaning of subsequence is it is a part of a string. And what is the meaning of a substring? It is also a part of a string. And what is the difference between these two? A substring is a continuous part of a string. It has to be continuous. Whereas subsequence may be or may not, may or may not be continuous. May not be continuous. What is the meaning of it? The meaning of it is, let's say I talk about this A, B, C, D. This is a string. If I talk about this A, B, C, D, A, C. Do you think it is a part of a string? Do you think it is part of this string? Yes. There is A, there is C. Both are part of the string. But is this a continuous part of a string? Is this a continuous part of a string? No. It's a subsequence. It is a non-continuous or discontinuous part of a string. And how did we get to this? We get to this by, let's say, A, B, C, D. We decided to accept B. We decide, uh, sorry, we decided to accept A, ignore B, accept C, ignore D. So what do we get is A, C. So this is called as non-continuous part of a string. And one more fun fact. All the substrings are basically subsequences as well. But the reverse is not true. Agreed? Agreed. But the reverse is not true. Guys, couple of things. Order is definitely important. Order is definitely important. Let's say A, B, C, D. Voice is breaking. Okay, give me one second. Give me one second. Give me one second. One second, one second. Fixing it, fix. Give me one second. Yeah, guys, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Fine. Guys, can you hear me? Everyone? Yeah, all clear now? Yeah, it should be fine now. Okay, cool. So, Subsequence also has to follow order. Just the only difference being it need not be continuous. So tell me one thing. A, B, C, D. Is C, A a subsequence of this string? 
is C A a substring a subsequence of this string? No. No. Why? Because order is not maintained. Order is not maintained. Agreed? Order is not maintained. Correct. So subsequence also has to pay, uh, has to maintain order. The only difference is it need not be continuous. It need not be continuous. Okay. So what you are given is you are given a string. You have to find all subsequences of this string. All subsequences of this string. So the way you should think about it is again, think of the shopping cart example. But instead of bakery, cold drinks, and chips, you have you have A, B, and C. And again, what you have to do is you have to figure out whether you are going to accept A or you are going to buy A or not buy A. Let's say if you decide to buy A, then it, when you arrive at this particular point, it will be A. And then you have two options. You can buy B as well. And then when you arrive at C, you will have two options. You can buy C or you cannot buy C. But all this became possible when you decided to buy B. What would have happened if you would have not bought B? Then it would have become A. And then for C, you will have two options. Either buy it or not buy it. But all this was possible when you decided to buy A. What would have happened if you would have decided not to buy A at all? So when you would have arrived at B, it would be empty string. And for B, you will have two options to buy it or not buy it. And then again, you arrive at C, you will have two options. B, C, that is buy it or don't buy it. So it just becomes B, right? But all this was possible because you decided to buy B. What would have happened if you would have decided not to buy B? Then you would have arrived at C with an empty string such that it becomes C or empty string itself. Are these all the subsequences? Can you look at it? A, A, B, A, B, C, A, C, and then simply going for B, B, C, and C. Are these all the subsequences? Are these all the subsequences? Yes, they are. So all you have to do is you have to figure it out. How many of you got the, got the logic of it? How many of you got the logic? It? it is exactly similar to this one. Either you can include it, either you can include it or you can exclude it. Correct. So let's say if I think of it in terms of my recursion tree, shall we think of it in terms of our recursion tree? Shall we think of it in terms of our recursion tree? Okay. So initially A, B, C, this is my string. And can I say initially that my subsequence that I'm trying to figure out is empty? Initially, the subsequence that I'm trying to figure out is A, B, C. But again, guys, just like the trolley wala example, I have to go through these one by one. And once I make a decision on A, I cannot come back to it. Right? Why? Because the order is important. Let's say you decide I'm not going to buy this A or, you know, use this particular position A. Then after you select B, can you go back to A and select it again? No. Why? Because the position will become different, right? The order is important, correct? This is a subsequence, so order is important. So you have to go character by character and make decisions, just like our examples of uh, our example of the supermarket, correct? Just like our example of the supermarket. So when I arrive at A, how many options do I have? Two options: either accept it or ignore it. Agreed? Either accept it or ignore it. So let's try that. Let's let's look at the uh, look at the option of I accept it. What is the op option I accepted? What happens? The subsequence becomes A, right? And after that, I move to B. For B, again, I will have two options. What are the two options? I can either accept it or I can ignore it. So let's try I accept it. So what happens in that particular scenario? This becomes A, B, and then we move to C. For C also, I have two options. What are the two options? What are the two options? Accept it or ignore it. So let's say I decide to accept it. A, B, C. After this, do I have anything left to explore? Do I have anything left to explore? No. That means this is my final position or this is my final situation rather. Correct? 
that means i have explored there are no more options to explore beyond this level so what will i do i'll go back and try the other option that i had i go back to the previous state what is the previous state a b and try the next option what is the next option i have the next option i have is ignore c right ignore c so what happens if i ignore c it simply becomes a b it simply becomes a b correct it simply becomes a b and then after that what happens after that what happens is there anything left to explore or is it done is there anything left to explore or done no i return back at this point i had two options have i explored both the options have i explored both the options yes so what do i do i return back and try the next option what is the next option this option was accept b the next option is ignore b so if i ignore b i come back to this particular position but guys when i return all the choices that i have made they also you know they also be, become redundant that is all of these choices are now invalid that means i am returning or i am undoing all the choices that i have made agreed so that means when i arrive at this position when i arrive back and i try the next option i will again have to make a call on c or i'll again have to make a decision on c and what is that decision either accept it or ignore it correct correct just like the shopping cart wala example just like the shopping cart example what was happening there even if i came back even if i came back again i will have two options right after buying cold drinks again i will have two options if i if i buy chips i'll have two options if i don't buy chips even then i'll have two options correct same case guys everyone okay till this point everyone okay till this point okay so at this i again have two options for c what are the two options for c either i can accept it so it becomes ac now there is nothing left to explore so what do i do i return back from this particular position try the next option what is the next option ignore it ignore this as well so what happens it just remains a and since there are not so there is nothing left to explore beyond this point what do i do i return there were two options to explore at this particular point so what do i do i am done with them i return there were two options to explore at this particular point i have explored both of them so what do i do i return at this point i had two options i have explored one of them now should i try the next one should i try the next one what is the next one ignore a if i ignore a this remains an empty string when i arrive at b this remains an empty string your voice is muted guys can you not hear me can you not hear me is my voice coming in fine okay kundan some issue from your end probably some issue from your end okay cool so when i arrive at b i have two options what are the two options either i can accept it or i can ignore it either i can accept it or i can ignore it what happens in this particular scenario i can accept it or i can ignore it so if i decide to accept it it becomes b and after that i move to c and at c i will have again two options accept c ignore c okay i decide to accept c so it becomes b c beyond this point i have nothing else to explore so what do i do i return and try the next option what is the next option ignore c as well so that becomes just simple b and then i return back at this point i have explored both the options so i go back and try the next option what is the next option ignore b as well if i ignore b this just becomes a what you say this just becomes an empty string while i arrive at c and at c how many options do i have two options accept c or ignore c so let's say if i decide to accept c if i decide to accept c what happens this becomes c right there is nothing left to explore beyond this point what do i do i return and try the next option what is the next option ignore c as well so empty nothing left right this is the final case where we decide not to buy anything i have explored there is nothing left to explore beyond this point so i return i return and i return have i explored all the options at this level 
Have I explored all the options at this level? Yes. So these are all the subsequences of it. Agreed? Might be the order might be different. We'll figure a way out for that as well. These, these are all the subsequences, including the empty one. These are all the subsequences. Right. And guys, tell me one thing. At every point, I was selecting one character and I had the same two options. What are the options? Either to accept it or ignore it. Accept it and move on or ignore it and move on. Correct. At this one, what are the options? Accept it and move on. Accept it and move on. And another one was ignore it and move on. And I was exploring both the options. At every level, I was doing the same thing. Right. At every level, I was doing the same thing. Agreed. So if I'm doing the same thing again and again, just for a different character or just for a different index, rather, what do you want to call it? What is the choice that I have? Why should I not use the same code? Right. Right. Why should I not buy the same code? Right. So what do I do? Recursion. This is called as recursion. And am I exploring all possible options? Am I exploring all possible options? Yes. So this is probably brute force. And together, these two have been called as backtracking. How many of you got this? How many of you got this, guys? If you're not able to visualize this tree, this is probably a really nice tree. If you're not able to visualize it, let me make it clear for you guys. This is the recursion tree of generate, uh, what do you say? generate uh, generating all subsequences how many of you got this guys how many of you got this got this got this this is called as generating all subsequences in another way can we say backtracking is a recursion 100 percent, you can say that backtracking is a fancy way to say recursion correct backtracking is a fancy way to say recursion 100 percent agree correct great point of image Okay, you might not be a great friend, but you are getting a hang of backtracking. Okay. Cool. Now do one thing, guys. Take a couple of minutes. Explore this. Think about the code. Sir, why we cannot add BC? We are adding BC, no? See? This one. Shivam, this one. At this particular point. We are adding BC as well. Okay. Come on, guys. Think about it for a couple of minutes. Think about the code now. Now is the good time to think about the code. And let's move on then. Come on, guys. Give it a shot. Everyone. Someone is saying, is it possible we go direct to C and not buy A and B? Rahul, that is happening, right? This one, when we are not buying this one, but you are saying directly going to it, then you are not, you not, you're not generating subsequence in that way because you have to follow the order, right? Even in the DMART while example or, you know, this example, how can you directly jump to C? You will have to go through chips and cold drinks, right? And ignore it. You can ignore it, but how can you directly go there, right? Getting my point. If you are saying, I'm just going to get C, and that's not generating subsequence, correct? Correct, guys. Guys, everyone get this part? Everyone get this part? All okay till this point? See, generally what happens is people tend to look at this tree at the beginning, right? Then this is not a great thing. 
see this tree is very scary but if now we have created the entire thing so that's why we know how did we get here but what happens is generally people look at the whole thing first that's very scary to look at nothing makes sense right but if you have drawn the entire thing on your own then it's it's quite an easy thing now who can code it up come on who can code it up come on smart people who can code it up who can code it up come on come on guys come on anyone wants to try anyone wants to try who can code it up who can code it up Okay, come on. Let's code this, guys. Come on. Has anyone actually thought of the code? Like, how will the code look like? How big the code will be or something like that? Have you guys given it a thought like this? Have you guys given it a thought like this? Anyone? Let me reset this first. Okay, everyone draw the dream in your notebook. That's also a good thing. So let's take, again, guys, I'm going to be coding in JavaScript. Why is that? So that you guys don't cheat. Correct? Okay. Exactly. I knew this was coming. Shivam wants me to code in Java. Why, Shivam? Why should I code in Java? Why should I code in Java? I can code in Java. You see, I can code in Java. If you're trying to assess me, see, somewhere here, I've coded in Java and got it accepted. And this is my code. Okay. I can definitely code in Java. But should I be coding in Java? Then what is left for you, no, guys? What is left for you? There's nothing left for you guys to do. Then kya hi ga, yaar? Then what will you go back and do? Nothing. Bore ho jao ga, yaar. Correct? Then Shivam, why should I have all the fun, no? Why should I have all the fun, correct? Okay. Uh, are you ignoring my message or I'm not, not sending them in the right place? Harsh, I'm not ignoring you. But, you know, it's like you can solve it already, right? I need to take care of other things as well, right? Okay. How can I build problem-solving skills? By solving problems, as simple as that. It's like asking, how can I learn mountaineering? Sorry, Harsh, my bad. I'll let you know this time, correct? I'll let you know. I'm very, very sorry, very sorry. Okay, cool. So, guys, what are the things that I need? Uh, N is equal to three. What are the things? See, see, changed it, changed it. Let's change it. Relax, 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 relax. Take a deep breath. Let's take a deep breath. This is not actually a good thing. Though. Yeah. Is this better? Is this theme better, guys? Or is light hurting your eyes? Dark is better. There are so many themes there which are not working. Where's terminal? Uh, 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 uh. Is this better? Chaos? Chaos is better. Which one is better? Chaos is okay, no? Okay, cool. So, couple of things. Nah, yaar, this is not good. Who said this is good? What is this go box? Achha, it was good for Java. Okay, I have not tried that. Yeah, let's go for this one. Okay, cool. Now, if new str dot length is not equals to zero, console dot log new str. Okay. If index is equal to str dot length, then return. Otherwise, I plus plus new str is equal to new str plus str of i and then I think I should make it an array. Mm -hmm. 
one second. Let me make it an error. New star dot push str i generate subsequences str new str give i plus one and then new str and this is it this is it this is it congratulations guys this is it this is it this is it trust me proof should i show you the proof let me show you the proof no 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 i i arman I'll, I'll i'll show you that part that's not an issue i'll show you that part push and pop are inbuilt functions in java just like adding and deleting you have i have how many of you've seen an array list how many of you've seen an array list array list right in array list we use add and remove agreed we use add and remove similar to that in java it is called as push and pop right i know the terminology is a little bit this one okay cool then let's go with str let's go with array index initially start with zero let's try to run this str dot join is not a function okay yeah push is not a function why is it not a function uh, 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 uh. cool 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 Oops, sorry. Got it. It should be fine. Yep. Is it working? Is it working? Maybe I should. You don't want brackets? I knew it was coming. Anything else, sir? Anything else that you want animate, sir? Anything else? Brackets, no brackets, curly brackets, square brackets. Anything else? I knew this was coming up and I was prepared for it. Hey, is this all? Are these all the subsequences? Are these all the subsequences? Are these all the subsequences? Now you might say for A, B, C, D, I can do it for A, B, C, D as well. I'm not using N, so it hardly matters. Let's remove this part and let's run this. There is no D because I was not taking D. Now is this fine, Sanket? AC is a subsequence. Definitely it is a subsequence. Pratmesh, where were you? Pizza dry run? Oh, sorry. Please dry run. Okay. AC is definitely it, no? Got it. So, how many of you got this? How many of you got this? The expected answer is no. I didn't. Of course, it should not make sense in like one go, right? It should not make sense as one go, right? When I tried the order change, correct? Agreed. So guys, let's try to understand this part. Okay, how, how can we make sense of this particular thing? How can we make sense of this particular thing? How can we make sense of this particular thing? We can make sense of it by doing a dry run, simple. Okay, let's go for it. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Suppose this is my recursion stack. This is my recursion stack. Now, the way I'm going to go about it is, this is the first function call. Agreed, guys? This is the first function call. Now, my new string is going to be there, which is initially empty. It is empty, right? Initially, it has nothing. Agreed? Initially, it has nothing. And this is my string, A, B, C. Now, the only thing I need to take care of is index. What is the initial value of index? What is the initial value of index? Zero. Agreed? Awesome. Now, after this, as soon as this function goes into the recursion stack, I will start executing it. Okay. Is new string dot length, that is this one, not equals to zero? Is new string dot length not equals to zero, guys? Is this correct? Is this correct? No, it is not correct. 
that means I cannot execute this line. Is index equals to str dot length? Can you please confirm? Is index equals to str dot length? No. So I will have to start with the loop. Agreed? I will have to start with the loop. What is the loop saying? For i equals to index means what is this value? i is equal to zero. For i equals to zero, i lesser than three. Is i lesser than three? Can you please confirm? Is i lesser than three? Can you please confirm? Yes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to push str of i. What is str of i? str of zero. What is str of zero? Add a. Add a to your new str. And after that, the next line, guys, please focus on this part now. What is the next line? Can you please confirm? It's a function call. What is this function call? It says x2 such that string, new string, and i plus 1. What will be this i plus 1? Please confirm this part. What will be this i plus 1? This will be 1. That is, I made a decision on this one. Now I'm moving to this one. And what is the decision that you have made? You have accepted it. Agreed? Index will be 4. Why index will be 4? It is 0, no? First while you see, index will be 0. Right? I have made a decision on this one. Now I'm moving to this one. Everyone agrees to this particular part, guys? Everyone agrees to this particular part? Everyone agrees to this particular part? Yes, no, something would be nice. Okay, awesome. So now, can I move to the next line, which is new str.pop, or do I have to execute this function, which is x2? I have to execute this function, which is x2. Which rule is this? God's rule, right? Top to bottom, left to right. We have to go for it. So let's say we go for it. Now tell me, is new string dot length not equals to zero? Is this correct? Is new string dot length not equals to zero? This is correct. So let's print it. Let's print it. So this comes out. I'm printing the output here. It comes out as A. And after that, is index is equal to str dot length? Is index equals to str dot length? No. So we start with the loop. I is equal to index means what is the initial value of I? Please confirm for x2. I is equal to index means what is the initial value of I? I is equal to 1. Agreed. Awesome. Now is 1 lesser than 3? Is 1 lesser than 3? Please confirm. Yes, 1 is definitely lesser than 3. So we'll go to this particular. What is this? New string dot push string of I. What is this? New string dot push string of I. We push B. We push B. Such that now in my new string, I have A, B. Agreed? I have A and B. Okay. The next line. What is the next line? The next line is a function call. Let's call this function call as x3. Can you please confirm what will be this string? It will be the same. New string will be the same. What will be i plus 1? i is 1. So 1 plus 1 will be 2. That means I decided to accept this one as well. And now I'm moving on. I decided to accept this one as well. And now I'm moving on. Correct? I move on to C. So again, we start with x3. For x3, is new string dot length not equals to 0? Can you please confirm? Yes. So this will become a, b. This will become a, b. Okay. Next. Is index, is index that is equals to 2 is equal to str dot length? Is index equals to 2 that is str dot length? No. So we start with the loop. What is this loop? i is equal to 2. Is 2 lesser than 3? Please confirm. Is 2 lesser than 3? Please confirm. Yes. So what will be this new string dot push str of i. So what are we pushing inside? We are pushing c. That is, I am at this position and I decided to accept this one as well. I decided to accept this one as well. And after this, what is the next line? The next line is a function call. What is this function call? x4 such that, what is the value of this i plus 1? Please confirm. i is equal to 2. So 2 plus 1 will be 3. 2 plus 1 becomes 3. Okay, so let's execute x4. Is new string dot length not equals to zero? Please confirm. It is correct. So we print a, b, c. And after that, is index equals to str dot length? Index is three, string dot length is three. Is this correct? Yes, it is correct. So what do we do? We execute the return statement. And x4 is done. So what will happen? x4 will return to the point where it made a decision. What is the point where it made a decision? This one, x3. And x3 
what will happen? New string dot pop. Now I'll tell you the meaning of this pop statement, guys. The meaning of this pop statement is delete the last character of your array. Delete the last character or last element of your array. Delete the last element of your array. This is the meaning of pop. So which element should I be deleting? Which element should I be deleting? C. So C is deleted. And after this entire thing is done, I plus plus, I will become three. Agreed? I will become three. And is three lesser than three? Is three lesser than three? Is three lesser than three? No, it is not. So can I say X3 is done? Can I say X3 is done? Yes, X3 is done. X3 is done and we return back to X2 and we return back to X2. Correct? We return back to X2. Agreed? Agreed guys? Agreed? Okay. And what happens at X2? This line is done. That means we execute line number 16. What is line number 16? Delete the last character of your array. What is the last character of my array right now? What is the last character of my array right now? Delete B. So let's delete B. And after this, what would have happened? I plus plus. What is I plus plus? Two. Is two lesser than three? Is two lesser than three? Yes. So let's execute it again. All okay till this point, guys. Don't lose me at this point, okay? Don't lose me at this point. All okay till this point? Okay, cool. Awesome. Stay with me, guys. Stay with me. Next, we say new string dot push str of i. What is i now? What is i now? i is c. So we push C into it. Now, do you know what is the meaning of this? That we decide to ignore it. And after A, we are directly accepting C. Correct? After A, we are directly accepting C. So we are trying the other option. What was the other option? Accept C and ignore, uh, sorry, accept B and ignore B. So we are trying the next option. What is the next option? Ignoring B. So this becomes C. And what is this next line? Can anybody confirm? What is this next line? Next line is a function call. Let's call this x3. What will be this i plus 1? Please confirm, guys. What will be this i plus 1? This will be 3. i plus 1 will be 3. So let's execute x3. Is new string dot length not equals to 0? Please confirm. Yes, that is correct. So what happens? ac. And after that, is index equals to str dot length? Is index equals to str dot length? 100% yes. What do you do in that case? What do you do in that case? You simply return. And how? And where do you return to? X3 returns back to X2. And in X2, what happens? Line number 16. What is line number 16? Delete the last element of your, delete the last element of your array. What is the last element of your array? C. So delete it. And after that, I plus plus, I becomes three. Is three lesser than three, guys? Please confirm. Is three lesser than three? No. Can I say end of X2? Can I say end of X2? Yes, 100% yes. And if X2 is done, it will return back to? It will return back to X1. And in X1, what will happen now? Line number 16. What is line number 16? Delete the last element of your, delete the last element of your array. What is the last element of your array? The only element of your array, A. Does anyone understand? Where are we? We are back at the top of the recursion tree. Right? We are back at the top of the recursion tree. And now we explore the next option. What is the next option? Where we ignore B. Oh, sorry. We ignore A. Correct? How many of you are able to get this part, guys? How many of you are able to get this part? Awesome, right? Awesome. The way this code is working. Agreed, right? This is pretty nice, no? Stay with me, guys. Stay with me. Let's, let's, let's finish it. Let's finish it. Okay? Cool. After this, what happens? I becomes one. Is one lesser than three? Hundred percent yes. So what do you do? You say new str dot push str of i. What is str of i? What is str of i? It is b. So that means b gets pushed into the new string. That is here. And after that, this line. What is this line? A function call. So let's make that function call. That is x two. And what will be the value of this i plus 1? And guys, why am I doing i plus 1? Why am I not doing index plus 1? If I would have done index plus 1 at this particular point, what would have happened? What is the value of index for x1? It is 0. So 0 plus 1 would have been 1. That means we will be back at this position. But 
I have already made a uh, made a decision at that position. Should I be going back at that position? No, right? Bro, I cannot go back to that position, guys. Everyone remembers the order. The order is so important. The example that we took that you cannot go back. That means if you have decided that you have taken a call on this one, you are this one. You should not be going back this one. You should be going forward than this. And that is why we are doing I plus one. That is why at this point we are not doing index plus one, but I plus one. How many of you are able to understand this point? How many of you are able to understand this point? The value of I and index might be different. The value of I and index might be different. If I have made a call on I, I need to move forward than that. And that is why I should be doing I plus one and not index plus one. How many of you are able to get this part, guys? Come on. Got it? Got it? Okay, cool. Only three, four people responded, but others, you are not responding. So I'll have to move forward. Okay, cool. Okay, let's move to X2. At X2, what happens? At X2, what happens? I plus one. What is I plus one now? The value of I is one. So I plus one will be two. Okay, so I move to X2. Is new string dot length not equals to zero, guys? Please confirm. Is new string dot length not equals to zero? That is correct. So what is a new string? It's just B. So add B. And after that, is index that is two is equal to str dot length? Is index that is two equals to str dot length? No. So you start with the loop. I becomes two. Is two lesser than three? Definitely yes. So what's going to happen? New string dot push str of I. What is new string dot push str of I? C. That is you decide to push C. So here comes C. And after that, the next line. What is the next line? A function call. X3. What will be this? I plus one. I is two. So two plus one will be three. We start with this one. Is new string dot length not equals to zero? That's correct. So what do you do? You print new string. What is new string? B, C. And after that, what happens? Is index equals to str dot length? Yes, 100%. So what do you do? You return. And this return goes back to x2. And at x2, what happens? At x2, what happens? x2, what happens? This line, new string dot pop. You delete the last character. Yeah, correct. Shivam in Java, that would be the case. You delete the last character, which is C. And after that, I plus plus, which is three. Is three lesser than three, guys? Is three lesser than three? Yep. Yep. No, 100% no. So that means end of X2. And once X2 is done, what would happen? You go back to X1 and X1, what would happen? Pop. You delete the last character of your array. What is the last character of your array? This B. So delete this. And what would happen after that? I plus plus I becomes two. Is two lesser than three? Is two lesser than three? Yep. hundred percent it is. What happens after this? What happens after this? I is equal to index means. Sorry. New str dot new str dot push str of I means you will push C. So C goes inside it. And then next line is a function call. What is this function call? X2. And I plus one. What is I plus one now? Three. So when you arrive here, is new string dot length not equals to zero? Yes. So you print C. Is index is equal to str dot length? Yes. So you simply return. Return. And where do you return? Back to X1. And at X1, what happens? New string dot pop. That is remove the last character which is this one. And after that, I plus plus, I becomes three, right? I becomes three. I becomes three means what do I do? Can I say end of X1? Can I say end of, end of X1? Yes. And that means it can come out of this. It can come out of this. And that means this is the end of the tree. End of the function. Agreed? This is the end of the function. And guys, can you give it a look? Are these all the subsequences? Are these all the subsequences? Yep, there they are. The only thing, this one I had to do to get the correct order. This thing I had to do to get the correct order. This is not part of generating subsequences, but I had to do this as soon as I was getting it, I was printing it just to get the correct order, right? Because the question wanted lexicographic order. 
But the most important aspect of it is, do you guys realize that when this entire thing is done, my new string is empty. My new string is empty. Yes or no? Why? Because I'm back at the top of the recursion tree. I was like this, no? Initially empty. I tried for A. Then I tried for, let's say, B. Then I tried for C. Then A, B. Then I went for A. Then A, C. Then just A. And then I tried for, let's say, empty. And then I tried for, let's say, B. And then I tried for, let's say, B, C. And just B. And then I tried for empty, C, and empty. So after everything is done, if you guys remember, after everything is done, let's say from here you came back, then here, then here, then here, then from here you came back. Similarly, from here also you came back. After that, when the function was finishing, we were back at the top of the tree, right? Right. So that means after exploring what is backtracking doing, it is going back to the original string. That's why this step is actually the backtracking wala step. Are you able to realize how is it the backtracking wala step? It is making sure that the last position or the last decision that you are ta taking, you can undo it after you've explored it. Correct? It is basically undoing the last decision that you are taking. How many of you are able to understand this part? Exactly. It's like control Z. Correct? Got it. How many of you got this? How many of you got this? What is the time complexity of this piece of code? What is the time complexity of this piece of code? Big O of 2 raised to the power n. Why? Because for every character, you have two options. Either this one, this one. So let's say A, B, C. For this one, you have 2, 2, 2. So 2 raised to the power 3, which is 8 options. Similarly, you will have 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. So that is all of them have to be explored. So that will be 2 raised to the power n. That is the time complexity. Agreed? Agreed? That is the time complexity. How many of you like this question? How many of you like this question? Did you realize that we just ended up spending like 1 hour 40 minutes of the, on this question? Did you just realize that? How did it work out? It just went like this. To be honest, this is like, I did not even realize that I've spent so much time on this for the first time. Otherwise, generally, I do have a sense like how much time is it is going on. But this, this takes a little bit of time. How many of you got this though? That's the idea. How many of you got this though? Got it. Got it. Got the concept. Got it. Did this, is everyone getting a hunch? What is backtracking? Is everyone getting a hunch? What is backtracking? What is backtracking? It is nothing else than recursion. Just a fancy way to say recursion. But backtracking is a problem solving technique. While recursion is recursion. You know that. Okay. So guys, we don't have enough time to start another question. So I'm going to end it here. Right. It's 9.50 already. Right. Shivam, if you think like that, it's not going to, it's, it's definitely going to be thing. It's de definitely going to be that way. Right. It's definitely going to be that way. But if you think of every question, no, try to solve it on a piece of paper. Shivam, the problem is you're thinking in terms of code. Don't think about the code. Code to happens at the end. Start solving questions. Do it on a lot of, do it a lot on a piece of paper and eventually you'll be able to get it. Okay. In JavaScript, it is not, def uh, not necessary to define the array size. No, no, it's not. Right. It's not, not required. I know JavaScript is a weird language, but very easy to actually code it up. That's why I did that. In Java, in Java guys, you will have to probably, uh, I would recommend that you take a list of characters. A list of characters would be nice. You know, try going for a list of characters. Try it out, implementing it. For today, spend some time implementing it. If it happens, great. If it doesn't happen, I'll help you out. Yeah, string builder should be good. Correct, Vishal. String builder should also be good. String builder, string buffer, I would highly recommend it. Okay, that should also be the fine. List of characters are also fine. You guys can definitely give it a try. Try it out. If there are issues, we'll sort it out in the next session. That is tomorrow. Correct? Correct. But guys, again, these are a lot of things. These are a lot of things to process. Process it. Work on it. The contest will be live. A lot of things that you've seen. Today's assignment is starting from 11. I'll get that sorted. I'll get that sorted. It will be started in like 
uh, by 10. For the next question, hint for the next question, right? I should be giving a hint, correct? For generate permutations, one, two, three. What are permutations? What are permutations? What are permutations? These are arrangements. These are arrangements, correct? So you are given an array of size n, you have to print all possible arrangements of it, correct? So let's look at it position by position. For this position, how many options do I have? I have basically three options. I can let one stay there or I can swap one with two or I can swap one with three. So can I say for the first position, I have three options. Can I say for the first position, I have three options. Let me take it to the board side. It's not a good place. Guys, guys, just this last couple of minutes, just take a hint and, you know, so that you guys can think about it. So for the first position, I have three options. I can let one stay there, so no change. I can swap one with two, so that two comes at the first position, or I can swap one with three, so that three comes up at the first position, correct? So if I choose this option, it becomes one, two, three. Now this position is done. If I think about this position, again, I have two options. I can let two stay here, or I can ask three to swap, or three to use that position. So I have two positions for this particular position. So if I try this position, this option, it becomes one, two, three. For the third one, one position, one element, not really an option. So I can say this is my final arrangement. And then I'll go back. I'll try the next option. What is the next option? I could have swapped two with three. So this would have become one, three, two. Again, this is uh, one element, one position, not really an option. So I go back, I go back. Now, another option was I could have swapped one with two. So this would have become two, one, three, such that I have decided that two will occupy the first position. For the next one, for the next position, I have two options. What are the options? I can let one stay there or I can swap it with three. I'll explore both of them. So that becomes two, one, three. Now for the third position, one element, one position, not really an option. So I return. And then what was the next option? I could have swapped with three. So two, three, one. Such that one element, one position, not really an option. I return. And I've, try, I've tried both the options. So I return. And then I try the third option. The third option was I could have swapped one with three. So that becomes, that becomes, three, two, one, such that I've decided that in the first position, three will occupy. Now for the next one, I have two options. I can let two stay there or I can swap it with one. So what does that become? That becomes like, let's say three, two, one. One element, one option, not really an option. So I go back. Another one was, I could have swapped with one. So that becomes three, one, two. One element, one, uh, one, one element, one position, not really an option. I go back. I've explored the two options that I had at this point. So I go back. I've explored all the three options that I had at this point. Can you look at the last? Is it all those? Is it all the possible arrangements? Is it all the possible arrangements? Definitely. This is all the possible arrangements. So again, almost similar, but you'll have to think about it a little bit differently. Right, just for everyone's visualization, this is the recursion tree of the question. Generate all permutations. Of course, we'll look at it in some depth tomorrow, but this hint, does this hint help? Does this hint help? Does this hint help? Yeah, you guys can definitely give it a try. Okay, and cool. Let's see this in the next session, right? Let's see this in the next session, correct? Give it a try, guys. Give it a try. Come on. Don't come to the session without trying. Otherwise, don't come at all. That's fine. I'll give you the attendance if you want. Okay. Cool. Cool, guys. Cool. That's it from my side today. So all these questions, spend some time. Today's contest is going to be pretty good. Spend some time there as well. And let's talk about it. Okay. Cool. Bye, guys. Take care. See you. Yeah.
you are i'm aware of it you just have to figure that out as well you are i'm aware of it that's the reason that question is function complete okay